Alrighty everyone, sitting here uh, near an overpass out in uh, these little siltstone, sandstone canyons. Wanted to get out and uh, start making it a more regular process every Friday now that I have my schoolwork caught up. Get out here and explore a little. Uh, still fall. We've got uh, some beautiful colors. Uh, I try to get down here on the other side. I'll show you that here in a little bit. And uh, I felt the reaper on my shoulder. So I reversed course and I think came down the smarter way. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that here in a second. School, I guess. Could be. Pretty neat. I'll leave that guy where he is. So this is a, although it's got a really nice, a lot of nice, really pretty fall colors. This is our uh, tamarix or uh, salt cedar. Found it, find it growing here uh, pretty much everywhere. Low basins. Uh, it's a horrible invasive. Moving on. So we've got the, uh, where I initially was trying to come down, seemed like a really bad idea the further I got down. Trying to come down, yeah, right about there. I was about halfway down before I realized that uh, I could have a, you know, one bad uh, consequence. So we came back down the other side instead down yonder, much nicer hill. You know, sometimes it's uh, good to admit your mistakes and go to plan B. Yeah, from this side, it looks a lot less sketch. I feel like I could have done it. But that area right there where you got a transition, yeah. Well, all I would have taken was a, a slip and, you know, come tumbling down, so. I think I made the right call. Yes, I found another neat little plant. Well, the fruit of a plant that I thought I'd talk about real quick. This guy down here. Let's see where you're at. There you are. This is a, it's a native little, uh, call these percubits or squashes. This guy's a, a coyote squash. Uh, very valuable for the seeds for a variety of little animals. Um, apparently it's a uh, fairly smelly uh, curcubit, curcubit uh, photodisma, uh, which basically means that it's got a little bit of smell to it. I'm gonna try to grow these in the, in the yard next year and see if I can get the squirrels interested. Uh, the other common plant that we have sitting around this area is uh, we're kind of in the middle of uh, this is gonna, what you're going to see all along the highways and corners and pretty much everywhere here uh, in lowland Colorado. Uh, this is a rabbit brush plant. There's a number of different uh, species in this genus. Uh, same uh, same family as sunflowers, uh, Asteraceae. Uh, it's a really important plant here for our native pollinators. Always uh, always interesting to see. It's got a really nice kind of smell to it. Mmm, delicious. So what am I doing here exactly? It's a good question. I'm not an expert on rocks, but I thought this would be an interesting place to look for. Uh, any kind of fossilized remnants here in this uh, sedimentary sandstone, siltstone. I haven't found anything yet, but it is definitely a... enjoying myself on this wonderful Friday. Hopefully we'll have a little better luck. I thought it was pretty interesting how intricately these are all sort of enfolded upon one another and uh, how easy it would be for this stuff to come uh, crashing down on you if you weren't, uh, weren't being very careful. So I'm gonna try to be careful. Hopefully none of these come down on my head. We'll see how that goes. It's just around the corner and uh, I've been, as I've been going along, I've noticed some of these really interesting uh, inclusions in the sandstone. You have these uh, basically look like, uh, well, they're heavy in iron. You can see they're uh, ferric. They've got a lot of rust, which is the red stuff you see here. Um, I'll have to get back to the computer and see exactly what, uh, what, uh, where those come from, what they're made of. Still haven't seen anything that's uh, evidence of 
uh, any kind of fossilized impressions here, but I'm sure I'll find some shortly. I've been seeing uh, tracks here along the uh, shoreline as I've walked, and uh, these are always a fun one to identify. Uh, you can see the little monkey-like paws there. It's actually my spirit animal, the trash panda. Really kind of a distinctive print. Down here you can see the little fingers stretching out. Ah, what we're looking at here is, uh, it looks like a nest of Quis cliff swallows here. We'll have to figure out exactly what species utilizes this area. It doesn't look like anyone is home right at the moment, but uh, definitely a nice sized colony here. We'll have to come back and figure out when these guys are nesting. It'd be a neat thing to come and explore. What I was referring to earlier are these uh, rock falls, and I uh, came across an area that looks like it uh, relatively recently uh, has been suffering some uh, erosion. You can see that right here along the uh, inner... There you go. You can see there where the uh, water has been intruding beneath the rock that we have here above us. And uh, probably a great idea not to hang out here too much longer. You never know how, uh, how soon uh, some of this might give way. You can see that uh, if we look here to the left, we're uh, also going to notice a little bit of... Uh, yeah, you can see that rock fall right there. So we're going to scoot down a little bit. Uh, I'd rather not have a lot of rocks falling on my head today. So hopefully we can find some more interesting things a little lower in the basin. Why, hello again. So I, uh, not only does this type of a trip serve as a kind of a fun walk and exploration, but uh, I also came out here because I wanted to see if there were any nice photo opportunities. I know that this is the most scenic, but I uh, definitely think there's some possibility here. As we're getting close to the Pueblo Reservoir, you can see the, the split. And then it uh, goes out yonder to... Uh, reservoir and you can see the houses out at Pueblo West in that direction. Yeah, so a lot of times you can look on Google Earth and there might be some cool vantage points and interesting things to look at, but definitely worth taking a, you know, mile or two hike out here to really see what you can see, get a vantage point of the of the valleys and the hills and yeah, I think there's some some opportunities out here to get some pretty neat photos. Well, good news everyone. On the way back to the vehicle, it looks like I came across some, uh, I would guess this is some kind of uh, petrified wood. Uh, so we were successful in finding uh, some evidence of uh, some kind of fossilized items here in the rock. Uh, I'm going to look a little bit more around the area, but uh, pretty stoked for, uh, you know, just kind of goofing around here looking at different uh, areas of the rock and coming across something that appears to be, um, as far as I can tell, as a rock layman, some pretty cool fossils. 